hi guys my name is caroline and you are welcome to my channel uh today's tutorial i just want to share a quick one on how i work with my velvet fabric some months ago one of my old students called me and said she worked with a velvet fabric and applied estate directly to the velvet fabric when she was working with a structured dress and uh, at the end of the day the dress does not come out as beautiful as she wanted it so i told her what to do so i was working on a project now and i decided oh okay let me share with my family my friends out there now for a velvet fabric a velvet fabric i treat it exactly the way i'm going to treat a neat fabric when i mean a neat fabric i mean a lycra uh, fabric now velvet fabric some of them stretch one way and some stretch the two ways when i mean uh, stretches one way or two ways the lengthwise grain and the crosswise grain so like this one that i'm working on it stretches the crosswise grain and the lengthwise grain is not stretched so uh, if you are making a dress that is not structured that is when making a dress that you want it to fit the body tightly uh without being structured you can use it directly while you allow the horizontal side which is the crosswise grain side to be around the body why the vertical side the, the side the zip is going to be so that's how i i use it when i'm making a dress that is not a structure but when i mean a structure fabric like you are making a corset like what i'm making here as you can see this is a structured uh, uh garment you want the shape to come out as it is that is it's going to be around the body but it's going to be tight so you know that uh the velvet back fabric stretches so in such condition, what you need to do is to look for either you can use your lining, you can use your uh, satin, like what I did here, I use satin. I treat it the way I'm going to treat a lace fabric. So you know when we want to sew is the lace fabric is what we call the underlining, which is the satin. So what that's what I use under it. So as you can see, so I will cut the satin. This is the satin under. Then I use the satin directly. I'm going to press on my ST as you can see. So before I will now cut my velvet fabric and I will now use basting stitches to hold it down before I will start sewing. As you can see, uh, this corset that I'm making it's actually a back dress that I'm making, so that will be able to hold it down without it stretching. So that is what we have here. So that's what i said i should share with you guys then when you are cutting it make sure that you are cutting you are cutting the same way like this side if you push it this push the nap side they call it nap if you push it this way you have one color and if you push it this other way to give you another color so when you are cutting your dress make sure you are cutting the same direction that is it then if you have the one that is two ways stretchy you know you can use uh Estate to support that area that is going to have a zip, or you use the paper, you put a soft paper there before you sew so that it can stay on the machine. So, basically, that's what I decided to share with you, my good people. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. We have a lot to share on this channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up, do not forget to share. So, guys, I think I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye for now.